This is Boxing Tickets NA. We're here at the final press conference for Repeater Revenge. Today we're joined in Belfast for the first time with Dylan Moran. Welcome to the home of boxing. Thank you very much, Steve. It's good to be up this way, finally. I know you've been up, obviously, the last couple of weeks. Obviously, some of the other ones in the gym have been fighting. So you've been sort of... Have you been getting your feelers sort of about the travel and everything else? You've travelled up from Waterford this morning, so was the sort of the last few weeks has sort of prepared you for the for the long drive up? Yeah, we're actually only saying on the way up, you know, what a quick spin, but it's because we're going up here now so often, it's just like a spin up the road. But yeah, loads of lads fighting up here um, on the boxing scene, so I've been up here every other weekend, up sussing the place out, see, getting ready, um, looking forward to Saturday night. Obviously, Jamie, sort of maybe highlighted something in the, the presser there that probably is in your head, was obviously with Owen O'Neill previously with, with weight problems. Obviously, I'm saying he seems it's fine, sort of going a bit red-faced. You try and just not to worry and just to obviously hope that he makes the, the agreed weight that he's sort of fighting at. Yeah, like I said at the start, I give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he was going to do what he'd done you know, two times in a row. His career would be over. So saying that, we're not at the scales yet, are we? We'll be there tomorrow, but uh, he sounds good when it came to the weight at the presser there. So, yeah, I know my weight's good and that's all I can do. On box record, obviously it says it's for the title. I'm not sure, obviously, that people have been saying. Is there a title on the line? No, there's no title on the line. The, doesn't make any difference, though, does it? Yeah, it is what it is. You know, the agreement was... If there's a belt, 10 rounds, and if there's no belt, 8 rounds. And, yeah, I didn't really follow it up after that. I was easy either way. Obviously, I would have loved to have a belt, but if there's no belt, there's no belt. It's one of them, I think I spoke to Jamie there as well, like trinket belts sometimes, it's like, it's, it's fighting, it's more than anything. You want a good fight, you want to, you know, a belt doesn't mean you're going to try any less, so it's, it's sometimes it's regardless. Exactly. I just need the win here, Steve. You know, like I said, I took a hit last time out, knocked me off track, and this win, Saturday night, puts me exactly where I need to be. I'm back in contention for some big fights, ideally domestically. You know, I want to bring some big nights to Watford, my home city. I have amazing support there, and with Jamie Conlon and his own boxing behind me, I'm sure I can do just that. The, the, the car has been dangled for both, obviously both you and Owen, obviously you won, obviously uh, Declan Garrity, obviously potentially for the Irish title. Obviously, I know you're not going to look too far ahead, but you won, you have a homecoming Waterford, he wins in Gerwood. That's a good car to dangle in front of you. Exactly, that's bigger than any belt. It is to me anyway, it's the whole reason I got into this boxing, you know, to bring big noise to Waterford. And it would be no more of a gift for me than bringing the zone to my hometown. Um, that's the bigger picture here, like I said a few minutes ago. The bigger picture today is bigger than it's ever been. Bringing the zone and the Conlon boxing to Walford for me would be a dream come true. So, yeah, I'm fully focused on Saturday night, get a win there and, uh, yeah, go from there. We know, obviously, and we, we spoke obviously in the build-up, obviously, the, it's, it's right and obviously things obviously different from the Marky fight. This gives you a chance to obviously restore things, and I know you get a lot of obviously hate from people and things off and afterwards. This gives you a chance to restore yourself and, and show everybody who Dylan Moran really is. Yeah, exactly. You know, if Owen O'Neill and his team are looking at the Marco fight, well, at their peril, you know, I was showing nothing there. Saturday night, everyone's going to see what Dylan Warren's about. You know, I've had the right amount of time with my new coach, Jimmy Payne, now for the Marco fight. I'd only linked up with him for five, six weeks previous. There's no excuses or that happened, and, you know, it's just fuel to the fire. I'm using all of that. I'm using all the fans Owen O'Neill is bringing. I've got a point to prove Saturday night, and everyone's going to see what Dylan Warren's about when the bell goes. SSE Arena, obviously you're a big follower of the sport as well as some amazing nights. You're really looking forward to obviously walking out to the home. I class it as the home of Irish Box. I know obviously they say the National Stadium's the home of Irish Boxing, but obviously you're adding your name to a list of obviously so many fighting greats that obviously has fought in the SSE Arena. Yeah, there's no beating Belfast. Like, is there Belfast? Sorry. The buzz even when I was up here with the lads boxing. They just love fighting and it's great to be a part of it, you know. I sat as a fan for so many years knowing one day I'd be providing the entertainment and I guess that night is Saturday night so yeah I'm looking forward to it and how do you see the fight going obviously do you want to make a prediction sort of for the fight I guess more importantly it's obviously a win but do you, do you see maybe stop him you know I'm ready to go to the trenches for eight rounds but I don't think Owen O'Neill will have seen boxing like I'm bringing Saturday night and I know Owen isn't bringing anything that I've not seen before like I said I'm in tip top shape I'm ready to go and yeah I wouldn't be surprised if I get him out of there Listen, thanks very much for your time. Obviously, all, all the very best of luck with making weight tomorrow, and we'll see you on Saturday night. Steve, thank you very much as always. Cheers, Dylan. Take care.